Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil 1. The Dank Edition. So now we are in a nice cave area. And large boulder. And do keep your one of your more powerful weapons in this area because there's going to be more hunters. Wink, wink, notch, notch. No, not that one. No, what am I doing? I wanted to check the map. There is something in this room. Actually, I know what's in this room. Oh, what's this? Handgun magazine. I mean, sure, but don't really need it. Though this point. I need more ammunition for my shotgun. Or grenade launcher. Or magnum. I don't need handgun bullets. Is that, you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <laughs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! <laughs> she doesn't have very good reflexes. Traitor? Who? I don't know, why don't you run after them? You know, he was right there. <laughs> or oh, they were right there, I guess. Yes. Wait, he's holding something. It's another crank. Hey. And did you... No, you didn't have anything else. Haha. -ha. Screw you, Hunter. Run faster, Jill. I don't remember if there's any in this room. Hello? Doesn't seem to be. Oh, shoot. And there's two of them. Thank you. For being dead. This crazy. Ah, yes, I know. I don't remember how you trigger that one, or if you trigger it at all. I think you can get it to move at some point, regardless. I don't need these. And I don't think I need this crank anymore. Because I have the new one. The improved crank. What? Ah. Hello. Yes, I will take the green herb. Thank you very much. Hmm. I don't actually know what happens if you put something in here. I'm sure something cool happens. Hello? Oh yeah.
just calm down. It was just a huge rock that almost killed you, but anyway. More shotgun ammo. Yay! Yeah, nothing else in this room. Just wanted to make sure. And is it actually a boss fight? It might be. Yep, it definitely is. Well, I say a boss fight this is a really pathetic one, but you know. Ah. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Ow. Oh, come on. That was just unfair. You are taking way more shots than I thought you would take. And this one is still trying to get me. I will take the knife because I actually do need it for a while. I need it to cut these things. There we go. Now we can proceed. So yes, that wasn't much of a boss fight, but hey, it was better than the previous ones. Previous attempts. Yes. I'm going to take one of these, because I have a green herb. And I can combine them. I'm really quite interested actually what happens if I put something in there. You don't have to, but I just don't know what it's there for. Hello? Wait. Okay, I got completely turned around. Slow down. And... Here we have a first aid kit. Hooray! What useful herbs do we have in here that we are never going to use? It's a first aid spray. I guess that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to be using it, but... That's the option at least. So that's nice. Oh, and it's this room. I seriously do hope that I didn't actually need the other crank for this one. Because if I do, I'm going to get really mad. No, I didn't, luckily. It kind of annoys me that the puzzles in this game are not really puzzles. I mean, you don't really have to think too much about these solutions. 
even the first time that I did this, it took me like five seconds to figure it out. Like, oh, well, there isn't much option what to do, so I guess I do the only one that I can do. So yeah, that's a bit, a bit annoying. Hopefully it's lined properly. Please go in. There we go. Yes, I will take the cylinder, thank you. And now we can leave and go back to that uh, previous room. Yes, that previous room. You know what I'm talking about. That one specifically. Probably going. Yeah, uh, I'm. I, I'm going to save again just to make sure that everything is fine. Again, if I would be playing for for fun by myself, I probably wouldn't be saving at this point. But you know. You call this basement. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess you are not technically wrong. Don't think I need this one. And even if I do, I can get it back easily, so... That should do. Actually, you know what? We haven't seen the grenade launcher yet, so how about I take that for a raid? Alright. I take it for a raid! No, no, no. For a right. And let's take. Yeah, let's just put it away. 18 shots should be enough to deal with whatever we find. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why it's so hard for me to speak today. Like, it's too nice, it's quite late already. And the boulder hasn't moved anywhere. I don't think it's going to be moving anywhere. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. And neither I do do I care. So now that we have these two things, we can combine them. Yes. 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 Sure. Keep moving it. I mean, I already know the combination, but there we go. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. Oh. Four. Two, three, and one. Hey, uh, 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 no, what's that? Oh, it's more handgun ammo. I just simply don't care. Barry, thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. The noise I heard brought me down here. I 
didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. We can jump off the lift. I mean, let's use the elevator. you go and check it out. Jill, go check it out. Mm-hmm. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Sure. Okay. <laughs> no, don't listen to him, Jill. He's a lying bastard. Is that a thing? No, it's not. It's an item box, but I don't need anything from the item box. I don't think. So let's just go in here. Uh, ow. My back is making very unhealthy noises. And probably a good sign that I should rest for a moment. Hello? So can't do anything here yet because I need the broken thing again. Pick these up. Some nice healing items that I don't need because I already have so many, but if the game is going to give them to me, I'm not going to complain too much. Oh yes, more magnum rounds. I do enjoy those. And battery pack, and I don't care about the pistol ammunition because I'm never going to be using it again. Probably. Well, I might use it towards the end, but... It doesn't really matter. I have enough in my uh, item box at the moment. that creates and it gives us a broken weapon which we can use using here where are you okay you're there so I can run around ring around a rosy and come back here and Barry Barry's come back. Barry. Should have just shot him when you had the chance, Jill. He's a lying bastard and has left us here. Who has left us here for death? I know how to speak. Don't you worry. So move this here and then activate it. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Mm. Yes, thank you. I know it's there. I, I know it's down there, so let me move. You silly game. Broken flame tower. 
It supports the same flower. <laughs> flame thrower. Thrower? Thrower. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. It's a broken weapon. And... I mean, why do they have a flamethrower in that crate in the first place? What are they going to be doing with it? Don't need this just now, so... Or just yet, so... Put it in the item box and then we need to do some more ring around the rose with it. With the... Beastie. Okay, so you are over here. Yes, just follow me. Look. Oh. Almost got hit by by her because of this stupid stupid camera angles. go. And I think you have a time limit on that. When you use the lever then you only have a certain amount of time. I don't think there's anything in this room. No snakes. Just Go away, please. I don't like you. Thanks. Oh, we need this one. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I got the stone ring. Is there anything else in here? Seems to be something. I don't see anything sparkly. So I'm going to assume that there's nothing down there. I think there's herbs here. So let's take them. Because why not? It's not like we have enough healing items already. And yes, I will continue to say that same thing over and over and over again. Mm, it's probably a good idea to wrap this episode up. Now that we are back in here. Back in the cabin. So now we can combine metal object with this. And we have our second stone and metal object that might seem familiar because we already had one. And we used it to get over here. Now we are going to use it for something else. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to save. Not yet. Oh. There shouldn't be much, if any, danger going back to the mansion. I say that, and now I'm probably going to die. Is there a crimson head in here? Yes, yes there is. Let's just run and pray to God. Ah! No 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 no
stay away, stay away. Thank you. Ugh. Phew. Like I said, nothing dangerous here at all. Nothing at all. Everything is fine. No problems whatsoever. Is there going to be another cutscene? No. Don't think so. Nah. I thought that maybe Brad would try to contact us again, but... It was not to be. So now we take this thing with us and we have two of these. And we can use them back if we go to the main hall and go behind the stairs. Wait. Need to go through this door. And this a door. Yeah. Ah. have actually seen seen the paths in previous episodes. Oh camera angles. I can go down here. And there we go. Oh joy. It's her again. Wonder what's on the other side of the door. Hmm. I don't know, Jill. Maybe that one monster that you have fought a few times already? I guess that's supposed to be earlier in the game you come here and are like, Whoa, that's a strange voice. What could it be? But if you don't do it... Oh, don't overwrite that one. If you don't... Do it early in the game, then it's just silly in the here in the late game. So I'm going to end this episode here, and in the next one we are going to be doing intriguing stuff. I'm going to need these two and drop this thing off. So yes, thank you for watching, and do come see what happens in the next episodes we are nearing the end of the game so see you there